Chicago Labs of Fort Will. Um, on the faculty, and in this case, we tried to get the kitchen guys moved to half of it, and then we tried to figure out some functional use for the second half. Um, some of you that have been there might ask why it's so small. Um, it's so small because of uh, code stuff in the city. It required the fact, it required because we were a uh, bed and breakfast, uh, had rooms upstairs, that we had a parking space. So we basically did dimensions on a parking space and made a small little box inside of this. Uh, which you could pull a car into, but you could never open the doors. Uh, which is now we use for storage, saving the parking spot, and then that's why LSB is in one row of LSB lunches. Um, and then I think Rob will to speak to this motor bike, because he's the only one that's turning on. The, uh, basically another like, time where I was around eBay, <laughs> I couldn't devise a way to get three cars up there, because I wanted to just throw some cars up there. I couldn't figure out how to lift them, so I figured a motorcycle was a fighter. So I sent around and McKay went to go with a motorcycle, found an old drag bike from the 70s. And uh, they were like, yeah, that sounds cool. Same, pretty much the same as the, uh, the uh, Jukots. They agree with like stupid sins. And uh, yeah, now we have the drag bikes in the middle. I was one of the guys that lifted up and it was easier than the car. It is really loud. <laughs> Spark plugs are out. I'm going to pull the spark plugs because so, uh, it's not a fence, it's a kitchen, but it's right next to the kitchen. You know, the guys can get drunk. I'm going to pull the spark plugs. Uh, so, no, you, just so I give you some sense of like, uh, what it isn't. Uh, but in this case, you know, I have a system for the door so like in the summer, if it ever comes to a spring, or they will have to go. Uh, we can open that up in a minute. We used to move the bar around in the back, and always have a fixed bar so you can service the outside.
violent hour. We built the bars. And, Studios, Bob Lesson's Mastering Studio, it's actually right down the street. Designed by a acoustician um, architect out of Boston. This is a more recent project, uh, it's an office space um, in West Loop, and they gave us uh, some free reign on the design. So, uh, this is something Robert came up with.
also been working with I do a lot of work with like the clothing industry. This is a pair of shoes that I designed for Converse. We took one of the classic shapes, redid all the materials, we did some more of the graphics based, and this is all for, for the, uh, the, you know, the red cherry Also do a kind of more stuff in the skateboard world. This is a skateboard I did for for Crooked, which is uh, owned by Mark Gonzalez and also been art directed by Tony Guerrero, which was interesting to me because they're both guys that grew up basically idolizing and had their photos on the walls. And to get an email from Tony Guerrero with a like <coughs> design a skateboard for Mark Gonzalez it was a, a pretty interesting moment where I had to call home and tell tell Lori how great this was and she didn't have any idea what <laughs> Some other random graphic design stuff I do. I do a lot of type-based work, a lot of cut paper work, a lot of shape-based work. And this is just a variety of, you know, I do a lot of identity work, also, you know, logos. <coughs> a lot of record cover stuff, too. Record cover stuff I don't do as much of these days, but I kind of came up in uh, the music industry. This goes back to some of the, the quoting stuff. I had a really pretty amazing relationship with Stussy, who's based in California. And I've been working with them for the last, I think it's about eight years on like a seasonal basis. So I pretty much do, I send them one giant, like one big pitch of seasonal graphics every single year for the, the last eight years. So, and on the average, it's maybe 40 designs in the season. So it's trying to add up the other day. I think I had to send them like over 2,000 designs recently. So. These are just some of the random <coughs> that I like from the this selection. Also some more more kind of interior based stuff, and this kind of leads to some of the more the stuff I work on now. This is a bar in Miami, a bar which is called Bar. It is owned by the, the gallery Oh Wow, and they had wanted to do like this what they call like this art bar. And then once every two months they would invite an artist to come in and completely recover all the walls and do an installation and do whatever they want with it. So this was the installation I made. This shows a little more of my personal work. These are some cut paper collages that have been turned into prints. This is a little more of like, uh, more of like my traditional painting work of what I've been doing over the last few years. More of the sculptural stuff that you can kind of see turned into other, other aspects of the projects. Another sculptural piece, this was a, a giant pentagram I wanted to make out of tambourines I've been collecting for a while. You can actually play it. 